good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into another Future Fix-Ups video. You guys seem to enjoy these. You know, taking the new figures that we see images of, seeing the new figures that we will be getting very soon, and then running them through my brain and coming up with some cool fix-ups that you guys may want to try once the figures get here. You know, I, I ran through them. I did my best to kind of develop some things and run through them. So I hope you guys do enjoy these as we progress through and just showcase them to you guys, and you guys can let me know what you think and you know if you guys think of any cool ones as well i'm sure there are some that i missed out on that i could have you know added to or, or been a little bit more creative with or something like that but uh, i think this should be pretty good man so let's go ahead and dive straight into things now for our first fix up man i am going to be going with the, now stay with me here this is kind of a this is kind of a frankenstein effort but i think you guys will really like this one so what we're going to do first guys is we're going to take the new aj styles wrestlemania elite from the boneyard match with the shirtless look you know he's got the shirtless look he's got the jeans on there the gloves and the, the the black boots and everything like that what I want you to do with that is just stay with me here the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna remove the gloves you know put some regular hands in there we could acetone off the armband or just regular arm swap would probably work as well we're gonna swap it with some you know like wristbandless wrist tapeless arms then we're going to take the head sculpt off and switch it with the Daniel Bryan basic battle pack you know the GM mode with the smiley face from there we're gonna take the rowdy Roddy Piper elite the they live one with the you know the nice flannel shirt shirt that, that velcros put that on there and then swap the feet with a john cena basic to give him the white tennis shoes so you'd have the white shoes blue jeans flannel shirt no wrist tape or anything and then the smiling daniel bryan head sculpt to give him the smackdown gm look would be an absolute perfect fix up i think that would be an absolute banger that is one that i'm going to try to do i'm obviously going to need some different copies of the figures you know that way i can swap them and do this and that and that way you know because i gotta have at least one copy of the figures before you know we do fix ups and stuff but that is something i absolutely want to do the next figure guys we're going to be getting into the elite bobby lashley now the new bobby lashley head sculpt is very sick it's sick enough that i think switching it with his elite 69 figure or his royal rumble elite would be really cool of course that would put a smiling head sculpt on your hurt business Bobby Lashley, which is, you know, it's here or there, doesn't really matter, but the main thing is getting that pissed off head sculpt on our other Bobby Lashley elites. I think that would be pretty sick. Nothing too fancy, man, just a fancy Nancy head swap would be really sick there. Put the pissed off head on a different body. Another fix up that comes to my mind, man, when I saw this Damian Priest elite, now it's gonna, you know, it's gonna depend on a few things. He may be too tall, his formula may be out of whack or something like that, man, but the first thing that came to my brain was how sick would it be if we crack the torso, get rid of the torso. Now, again, if this figure is rare or, you know, not easy to come by, I don't know what the case is going to be, but his tights are so sick with the purple and silver. If you cracked his torso and switched his torso with a Seth Rollins Elite, and then you could have, you know, this fantasy attire purple, silver, and black Seth Rollins with, you know, all the goods. I think that would be really sick. And another thing, we didn't get any Rollins Elite shown to us, so we don't know when we'll get double jointed arms for him or if we'll be able to do that at all. So that is something that I thought about as well. But Damian Priest Elite, torso swap it with Rollins. That would make for a really sick fix-up. Speaking of torso swaps, man, getting into the new Hulk Hogan Elite. This one, I, a lot of people don't like this torso for Hogan. Now, I think that you could switch it with a couple different figures, maybe the Elite 34. I don't know how flush this torso would sit on the SummerSlam body. I don't know how that would work out. I also don't know if the Survivor Series Elite would also work, but I think one of those figures, torso swapping it with this SummerSlam Hogan would be really sick. Again, I don't know how that's going to work out. You could probably head swap it as well with maybe an Ultimate Edition or something like that, but the torso swaps, I know if anybody's out there looking for a torso to swap with the Hogan, these would be my first options for that. Moving on to our next one, man, getting into the Hurricane Elite with the long hair. Now, a lot of people are crapping on this figure because he has Johnny Gargano Syndrome, which is something to complain about for sure. Uh, maybe you could switch the lower legs and kick pads with an X-Pac figure, but I was diving more into the head sculpt aspect. If you want to create some new attires for your hurricane you could switch the long-haired head sculpt onto the elite 75 and you know put the elite 75 onto this figure and that would give your elite 75 a little bit of a different look you could also put the double sleeves look on there as well give it get it away from that white wrist tape and create some pretty cool attires for your hurricane figure so that is another thing that i thought about there but if you want to get rid of johnny gargano syndrome 
X-Pac Elite lower legs and kick pads will do wonders for that Hurricane Elite. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Jimmy Hart Elite. Now, the only thing I'm doing with this is taking the jacket and arms, whatever figure comes with that. I know this is a Build-A-Figure. Whatever figures come with the jacket and arms, going to be getting a couple of those to use that jacket and arms to put on my MDT figure and any other suited bodies, you know, give them the pink suit, maybe a Seth Rollins, maybe some other guys, you know, give them a little drip action. So that is something that I wanted to plug in the video. If you guys wanted to make some of those, we'll probably do that on surgery if possible. So uh, getting some of those Jimmy Hart jackets is going to be sick. Moving on along, guys, we have Mustafa Ali. Now with this Mustafa Ali, he is going to have double jointed arms. So if you guys want to update your older Mustafa Ali, you know, with the with the smiling head sculpt, more of a baby face Mustafa Ali, you could head swap or arm swap it. Give that red or yellow attire a little bit of a, you know, a better head sculpt. It'll probably scale better too because I think his Elite 69 head sculpt was a little bit too large. So putting on this newer pissed off head sculpt will look great as well. And then you could arm swap it to give him the double jointed arms because I think they have the exact same arms and interchangeable hands so hopefully again double jointed arms hopefully they'll be really interchangeable with the single jointed arms and older elites so that'll be something to see and hopefully that doesn't disappoint all of us when we're trying to double you know get the double jointed arms on our other figures but we'll have to see about that but the Mustafa Ali would be pretty dope moving forward guys another torso swap for you Orton with the Wrestlemania white gear man if you took one of his uh, legend killer figures so I would say probably the new fan takeover it's probably the most widely available right now as far as the Legend Killer Orton Elites go. Take that figure and torso swap it with your other Orton, your new Orton, and that will give him sort of the Legend Killer look up top with the, you know, the, the tattoos, but it'll be in like a white fantasy gear for that era. So that would be pretty cool there. And you'll also have a version of the Fan Takeover Elite with the updated tattoos, which is something we probably will do on the next episode of Surgery. So that'll be a really sick fix up. I can't wait to do that one. I know that one's going to be really fire. But uh, putting the Legend Killer torso and old tattoos onto the white gear could be sick as well. Moving on along, guys, we have Rey Mysterio, the new Elite Rey Mysterio. Now, at first, I couldn't really think of anything cool. But then I thought about, you know, maybe you could switch out the gloves with the white gloves from the Elite 72 Rey Mysterio. And you may be able to just put the black boots on this figure, and that would be sick as well. Give him the all-black gloves, black boots with the rest of the colorful gear. And then another thing I thought about, I know the WrestleMania 2-pack is kind of hard to come by. But if you had an extra or you just wanted to do the swap, it may be pretty sick if you put the gold gloves and the gold boots from the Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, WrestleMania Elite 2-pack, and you put that onto this new Elite. I think that would be a really sick fix-up as well. The golds tying into the yellows and golds and the reds and blues would really bounce off each other, and that could be a really sick fix-up as well. So the Rey Mysterio fix-ups are sweet. They're just kind of hard to come by and do. So, you know, maybe you'll be able to do that, but uh, I want more of these boots in different colors for these fix-ups, bro. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is Matt Riddle arm swap and head swap with his other elite pretty basic and straightforward you know they gave him those Kalisto arms if we could switch them out for bigger arms that are double jointed head swap it if you would like to it's not a must but it's something that crossed my mind you know his formula was all kind of wacky so if we did the arm swap and head swap with his older elite that would be perfect with me next up guys is the elite Roman Reigns now this one's kind of eh you know but if you have a couple of these if they're easy to come by I know he's the top picks figure as well hopefully these won't be hard to come by but the Roman Reigns elite with the gold gauntlet if you get two of them you could take that gold gauntlet on the right and then put it on the left and slide off the black and then he'll have double gold gauntlets could make for a sweet fix up maybe you can switch out the boots with uh, the upcoming Strowman as well or maybe some other short boots I don't know how many colors we have in that but uh, I, I definitely know you could switch the gauntlets, and I think that'd be, make for a cool fantasy attire, giving him two gold gauntlets with the Roman reign. Maybe pairing that with, like, his elite vest with, like, the black and gold dog logos with the two gold, you know, gauntlets. That could make for a really sweet fantasy Roman. Next up, guys, is the ringside exclusive Tommaso Ciampa. I, I don't know why they gave him this Daniel Bryan torso. I don't know why they would do that or what their thinking behind that was. But if you torso swapped that with his Elite 69, uh, you have two options. I know the Elite 69 Ciampa is really expensive, but you could either torso swap it with the Ciampa or you could just put these legs. I know these are ball joints so you could just take these legs off and put them on the Elite 69 Ciampa. I don't know if the colors match. I don't know what that would look like with the long, you know, with the, you know, the legs and everything. And then you have the double jointed arms that you would lose. So it's just kind of a lose-lose. I don't know why they gave us the smaller torso, but uh, Tommaso Ciampa, you are going to have to either swap, torso swap it with like a Randy Orton or a, uh, a Tommaso Ciampa from Elite Series 69 to get the accurate torso, but then you'd have to either add chest hair or remove the back tattoo on the Randy Orton, so it's just a whole thing. I don't know why they did that to us. Moving things right along though, guys, we're getting into the Legends Triple H. A simple head swap for this would be great. I do like the new head sculpt, but if you want more of a pissed off head sculpt or you want more of a smiley, smirky head sculpt, you could swap it with the new Elite 86 Triple H or the Elite 23, depending on 
on which one you want there. And they may even have some basics that's like a true effects version of that pissed off head sculpt that you may want to use. But uh, that's just one of those simple ones that you can do. Speaking of simple head swaps, guys, we have a few coming here for Ultimate Editions. You have the Ultimate Edition Batista extra head sculpts. Take one of those and put it on your Hall of Champions Batista. Maybe the yelling one or maybe even just the pissed off one. Even the smirking one. They all look better than the one the Hall of Champions used. The haircut's a little bit inaccurate for the time, but it was still looks sweet. I think the true effects and the, the head size and everything is going to look really sweet on the Hall of Champions Elite, and maybe we can get some more Batista Elites to put these head sculpts on, but Jesus, man. The Batista fix-ups could be fire, so the Hall of Champions one is one that I would suggest. And then the ulti other ultimate that I was thinking of is the ultimate Bret Hart. Taking those head sculpts, I know people do not like these Bret Hart head sculpts, but if you were to take those head sculpts and put them on the new Survivor Series Elite, I think that may fix that up a little bit, because the hair pulled back looks a bit odd to me, but using those extra head sculpts from your Ultimate Edition Bret Hart could add to your Survivor Series Elite Bret Hart, and that is something there. And I think we're getting a, a WrestleMania Bret Hart in the WrestleMania Build-A-Figure wave as well. We'll have to wait and see exactly which one we get, though. Moving on forward, guys. Survivor Series Hulk Hogan. You could head swap it. Now, this is weird one because you could head swap it with the Defining Moments Hulk Hogan, but then it's like the same figure. I know he's going to have pinless double-jointed elbows, so that's one thing that you may want to head swap it with. I'm just not really feeling the Survivor Series head sculpt. It, it like, has kind of a cartoony look to it. I know what they were going for and the look they were going for, but I think the Defining Moments was slightly better, and they may have some basics that you could switch that out with. I don't think so, but uh, I don't know. You just have to play around with that. I may just put one of the, the you know, the screaming head sculpts on it because he's ripping the shirt off there. I know it's not completely accurate, but I think it would probably look the best. Next up, guys, is one that I am excited about, the Hollywood Rock figure. Now, th this is a re-release and a repaint of the Elite 81 Rock, you know, with the, like, the really short rock. They gave him, like, the sweat pant mold. They gave this one the sweat pant mold, which is absolutely ludicrous. I think you should torso swap this onto an Elias Elite, and uh, I don't think, like, I literally watched this movie maybe a week ago, and I don't think his pants look like this. His pants look more like the Elite 85 Bray Wyatt, and I wish that's the leg mold they would have used, but they didn't. They gave him, like, the jogger-type pants, so uh, I would just say take the rock and torso swap it onto an Elite of Elias, maybe. Should fix the height, and it would probably look better anyways, and you could always just switch the feet out with something else or do something of that nature, but I think that would look a lot better on the Elias legs over these. You know, it gives you, like, a khaki color. It gives you a brown color. It's not the exact color, I don't think, but uh, I think that would fix it as well. I would just say leg swap it, but it won't work because the colors don't match. Speaking of Ultimate Editions later, guys, we have head swapping the Ultimate Edition Undertaker. Now, I just don't like the head sculpts that we're getting with this figure. None of the head sculpts really come to mind when switching this out, but uh, maybe the Legends Undertaker would be really dope. Or maybe, uh, I don't know, I think maybe the Legends Undertaker, the newer one with the nice coat, would probably be the best option, at least off the top of my dome. There may be some other ones that you can get, maybe a couple basics or something out there, but I think that would probably be the best version to do. Uh, I just don't like these new head sculpts. You got the Michael Jackson looking one, and then the other ones don't really fit the era. And I think this is way before he had the tongue sticking out. So the Ultimate Edition Undertaker figure just isn't my cup of tea, man. And I don't know what we're going to do about that torso. Maybe you can swap it with a network spotlight. I don't know what's going on with it, man. Looks a little bit out of size. And then a couple of basic to elite conversions here to end the video, man. We have Mandy Rose just taking her short-haired head sculpt from her new basic and putting it on her new elite. Or not new elite, but you guys know the Elite 75 Mandy Rose taking that putting it on there I think that would be a really sweet fix up and then uh like I, I really think that would add to the figure a lot and I think the basic looks way more like Mandy Rose than the uh the elite did and it kind of you know ha adds some like round shape to her face and then the last one that we have guys is going to be Santos Escobar his new basic with the half days of the dead face paint putting that on the new elite 87 Santos Escobar that is actually releasing hopefully it'll be here in the next few days I get some reviews up for you guys and then we can do some surgery which I'm super excited about but Santos Escobar putting that head sculpt onto his elite would probably do a great deal for him so i think that's all the fix-ups i could think of man again probably if i sat down another 20 minutes i could probably come up with a hundred more and you guys know when these figures release we're gonna get other figures on top of figures and then when i have them in hand the fix-ups hit me even more in the brain so we'll probably be able to do that as well but i hope you guys had a lot of fun you know diving into these seeing what fix-ups you can make maybe you even thought of some yourself that's just my favorite thing to do man once we get new figures you know i like to look at them analyze them think what i can fix up and switch and you know add to the figure maybe you know sometimes i probably even ruin the figure but i try not to if a figure's perfect i typically leave it how it is and if a figure doesn't need anything i won't do it you guys know i don't just fix up a figure for the sake of it i try to think of something outside the box and add to a figure or create a new looking figure that adds to it makes it look a little bit better or aesthetically pleasing but 
Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out. And this shout out is going to go to Aaron Silva, who says, This is why we collect moments like this. Amen, MDT. Amen. And I like that because, you know, man, that, again, that is why we collect, man. Getting the figures of the moments of, you know, these things that make us happy and, like, seeing these things happen live and, like, it's just so, so surreal. And, like, capturing a moment that makes you feel so good and then seeing that play out in action figure form, being able to pose it around, just gives you good nostalgia feel, so yes, man, that, that, nothing beats that feeling, you know, when you, when you see a moment happen that makes you really happy on wrestling television, and then they recreate it in plastic figure form for you to pose around and do all these things with, man, absolutely excellent, nothing beats it, but that is gonna do it for today's video, man, thank you guys so very much for watching, huge shout out to Aaron for the comment, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video, don't cross the line like, uh, that, freaking ringside exclusive Tommaso Ciampa torso. You crossed the line I've been beaten, broken down.